Welcome back to another tutorial. This one is on animating a motion design title inside After Effects, like the one you're seeing on screen. We'll be starting from scratch and going over all the steps it takes to make this. So let's jump in. All right, now before we get started with this tutorial, it's good to get some inspiration in terms of the color palette or color scheme you're gonna be working with or would like to work with. So to do that, I would suggest going to Google and simply typing in color palette, and then go to images and try to find a color palette or scheme that you like. I think this one looks pretty good, so we'll click that, and we'll just take a screen capture of that. And then we'll go back to After Effects, and then we'll import the screen capture into our After Effects project so that we can reference it. We will double click it and then now whenever we need it we can go over to the footage tab and sample a color. The idea behind this is we can quickly figure out colors that work well together or complement each other because there are certain colors that are sort of ugly together or don't really work together. They can be hard on your eyes to look at whereas other colors like these can be pleasant to work with because this tone works nicely with this tone. So let's go back to our composition window and we'll start creating some abstract layers completely from scratch to try to come up with a cool looking design that we will add motion to. Let's go up to our pen tool and then let's turn off our stroke. And for our fill color, this is where we can use the eyedropper to sample one of these colors. So let's start with this one. And we'll go up just a bit, I think, make it a little brighter. Then we'll change our screen size to 33% so that we can see a bit of the uh, borders around it. So now that I'm seeing it like this, it looks a little bright. So let's go the other way and sort of mute the colors a bit. And then we'll create another layer and we'll try to follow the same sort of flow with our design. But this time we'll make sure it's on a different layer. So we'll select nothing down here in the composition panel window. And then once again with our pen tool, we'll draw another layer. And for our shape layer two, this time we'll do sort of a slightly darker shadow. so that there's just a little bit of a difference between the uh, tones. Then once again, we'll make sure nothing is selected and we'll go to our fill color and we'll sample the lighter color here. And then we'll bring this one to the bottom and then we'll do the same thing, make a slightly darker tone and do the same thing for this side. And then once again, we'll bring that one to the bottom. Then let's create some text for this motion graphic design. We'll select the text tool. We'll bring up our character panel window, choose the font we want, make sure it's the right size. And then once again, for our color, we're gonna choose the eyedropper and select a tone from our color palette that works well with the tones we have currently in our design. So let's go to the far left and we'll choose this lighter tone. And we'll mute it just a little bit. Hit OK. And then we'll start typing. We'll go back to our main selection tool. We'll then select our motion design text layer in our composition panel at the bottom. Go over to our character panel window and we can once again change the size until we're happy with it. And then we can create another text layer for below it. We'll go to our text tool, go down to our composition and click on nothing, which will deselect our motion design text layer. We can change some settings. Learning to animate. We'll go back to our selection tool, click our new text layer, make some adjustments so that it fits nicely within our uh, composition.
Then for our shape layer three, you can see the way I designed it, it doesn't fully go outside. So let's go back to our pen tool here and let's just make sure that that goes all the way out and then our layer four will put on top of it. This one does go all the way out the bottom. So we'll just adjust that to approximately where we had it before. This way we have our two bottom layers starting off screen on the right and the animation builds inside. And then our top two layers start off screen on the top left and build inside as well to the middle. Now that you understand how the layers are set up, let's go ahead and start animating. So at two seconds in, we'll bring that down below motion design just for organization. And for all of these bottom layers, we'll select them and press P on our keyboard. That will open up the position property for all of the layers. And then we will hit the stopwatch, which will create keyframes at the two second mark. And the reason we started at two seconds is because this is where the animation will animate into and at the beginning, now that we have those keyframes at two, we can work backwards and select shape layer two, go to our regular selection tool and click and hold and move outside that way. That created a keyframe there. We'll go to shape layer one. We'll do the same thing. Shape layer four, this way we'll go this way. Shape layer three. And we'll preview that. Okay, and then to make this look a little better, we will select all of the keyframes, right click one of them, go to keyframe assistant, and go to easy ease in, and then we'll go into the graph editor, and we'll click the little icon down here for the different graph types, we'll choose edit speed graph, and then we'll grab the little yellow handle here, and we'll drag it left. And that will make our design have a smooth animation into the uh, stop at two seconds. So that looks a lot smoother than what we had originally. And then for our text, we will do the exact same thing. So we'll click on the two layers, press P on our keyboard. We'll make our keyframes and then we'll go to our first frame. And then for our motion design layer, we will animate it starting from the left. And then learning to animate, we'll do it from the right. Once again, we will select those two keyframes at the two second mark, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease in, Go to our speed graph. And then let's delay the text from animating in just a few frames. So we'll select all of the uh, text keyframes and then move those over to the right so that the motion design shape layers animate in at two seconds and then the text layers animate in at about two seconds and 13 frames. Let's preview this. I think the text layers could animate quicker, so let's grab the starting ones and move it to the right. And with the same idea, let's take our outer layers, which is shape layer two and shape layer four, and push them to the right a bit to delay them. Let's preview that. Okay, I'm happy with the way that looks. Now, this animates in, but it doesn't animate out. So you can either fade it out after you've exported it and brought it into your video editing program, or you can pre-compose all of the layers and then reverse half of it so that you get the same animation for the outro. So let's select all of our layers, right click, go to pre-compose, go to okay. And then we have our layer animating in. So we'll click our layer, go to edit, duplicate. And then on the new layer, let's right click, go to time, and then we will time reverse layer. And as you can see, now nothing happens at the beginning. And then at the end, it animates out. So all we have to do is since this composition is 20 seconds long, let's go to halfway. On our duplicated layer, we'll drag the left side to the middle. And then on our original layer, we'll drag the right side to the left. So this is a really quick and easy way to have the exact same thing animate out without doing all that extra keyframe work. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found that helpful. Animating in After Effects is super fun. There's so much you can do with it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. That really helps us keep creating content like this for you. 
And also subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we release each new video. We have over 60 other filmmaking tutorials on this channel that you can learn from. So definitely check that out if that's something you're into. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.